The purpose of this video is to show you how Odoo's approval functionality works. So let's go into the purchase app, for example, and take a look at this flow. Let's just open up any order for now. And well, actually, let's create a new one to keep it clean. And let's uh, take a look up here. So the approval function works as follows. It works on actions up here. These are actions uh, which essentially allow you to do certain things in the software, like confirm an order or print it or cancel, or cancel it or send it by email, et cetera. Let's say that I want to create an approval rule that measures the total dollar amount. And in order for me to confirm the order, I need to request access to a certain user or user group for them to approve the order before I proceed with it. You go into Studio to set this up. You select the action you want to run the rule on, and here you set the approval rule. Now that I've initiated the rule, you can see this is, a one, this is one layer of approval. I can add an additional layer of approval here if I want. But before I do that, let's focus on one. Here I specify the specific user group that gets access to this approval or meaning they have the power in the system to approve something. A user group can have one user or many users. Here's where I specify the criteria that we're going to measure on this record, which will either prompt the rule or bypass the rule. Here I can click on add the rule, add the condition, and now I can look at all of the different fields on the purchase order record, including the fields that live uh, in other records behind records I can uh, fields I can assign here uh, in order to measure some criteria to activate the rule. One main criteria is definitely going to be the total. So if the total exceeds, let's say, $150, I want to run the rule. I could also have another rule here, and this is in right match records with all or any big difference there, as I'm sure uh, you would know. All or any of the rules will, all or any of the criteria being met, if all of it needs to be met, then all conditions need to be met. If any of them need to be met, then it's an or statement. So here I can also say at the right, the user or the, the responsible user, the purchase representative needs to be right out of a specific city, for example, things like that. You get the idea. We'll, we'll remove this for now and just keep total over 150 and save it. And once we've done that, back out. So here you'll see that as of right now, the confirm order is empty. If I add a product like product X oops, for 55,000 and save this, then of course the rule comes into effect. And there I can see a little icon that in order to proceed with this, the reason it is not green, such as in this scenario here, if I set a product uh, component one for $55, you'll see that the confirm order, the little head there doesn't pop up. But in the one I just created before, because it's 55,000, it pops up. If this goes down to 100, of course, and I save it, the head disappears, meaning I can proceed with the order. But let's go over five, 550 and bring my approval back. And now I need to go in and you'll see waiting approval. And I can, I, because I'm the administrator, can check this and it notifies that I have approved it and it timestamps it, both the user and the date it was approved on, and it would then proceed this user to, uh, to initiate the order and move forward. Okay, and obviously I'm the admin, so I have all access rights and it looks pretty seamless for me, but for another user, they would be blocked uh, had it not been approved. So in this, that's essentially how approvals work in uh, Odoo's version 14. If you have additional questions or additional workflows that you'd like for me to, to talk to you about, please let me know. Thanks.